Show Bamp Show. There we go. Hey, 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 welcome to the Show Bamp Show. I am Sage the host, and I am here with our special guest, Irene Poole. I love how I'm looking this way when really you're like this way on me. So yeah. there we go. <laughs> and here at the Show Bamp Show, we're here to celebrate startup culture, promote people, see what people are up to, and celebrate mental health. So, Irene, tell us about yourself. Tell us about your exciting news at CBC. Like, that's exciting. Yeah, so I've been, uh, I'm, I'm from Banff. I grew up here. Um, Sage and I, we went to school together. Yeah, um, yes, so and, much fun. <laughs> yeah, and um, I've been writing songs for the past probably seven years now. It's been it's yeah. been a while. So I've been writing songs for a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah since high school. Um, and I, I play the ukulele and I play the piano. Um, and so I've been I've been writing for a long time now. And I decided that like um, I wanted to enter the CBC Searchlight competition. Um, so it's a contest that CBC does every year to promote like emerging artists. Um, and uh, so this year they got over 2,500 entries from all across Canada. <laughs> so That's a lot of people are entered in this contest, which is super great. Um, and yeah, and they take submissions from all different genres. So I entered one of my songs that I wrote, um, and then the top 100 songs from this first round of voting uh, go on and then they get voted on by the judges. And then like, if you win, you get like recording studio time, you can buy new instruments. Like there's a whole bunch of stuff that's really, really cool. Um, that is amazing. Yeah, yeah. So that would be really like, I mean, it would be amazing to win because I really want what to What would get... you do if you won? Like with all that equipment, like what would you do with yeah. it? Yeah, <laughs> so I've been wanting, like I have, over like 30 songs that I've written and I want to get some of them recorded onto an album. I think that would be really great. And then I can like share my music with everyone, put it on Spotify, do all that kind of thing. So, um, and I, I haven't been able to record yet cause I've been in university and it's been busy, but you know, if, so if I won then- Congratulations on graduating. Thank you, thank you, yeah. Um, but so I would definitely want to record my songs. Um, and then I really think it would be fun. I've been wanting to learn to play the banjo for a little bit. So I might go and buy myself a banjo. I don't know, I can like- You have to do it, I mean. There's so many interests. I see rock out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it'd be really fun. Um, but, you know, even if I don't win, like, it's still really great to, like, get my name out there and get people, like, listening to my music. Because if they see my name on the voting page, then they'll go and, like, watch my video. And um, also... And be like, hey, who's this? Yeah, exactly. And, I, and I, it brings people to my YouTube channel as well, because I've been posting my songs on my YouTube. Um, so... Yeah, so that would be really great too. Um, and I think it's just like any way that I can share my music with people is like that's what I want to do. You know, I, I want to. I love playing for people, so any way that helps me do more of that um, is super great. That is amazing. And do you have your songs on anything else? Like spot, like have not you yet. I don't have not yet. So soon, yeah, so soon it's that's all the future. Of um, which is just look up Irene Pool and I should show up. And then um, I also have, I mean, I have some of my songs on my Instagram page if people want to follow me there as well. Um, but yeah, I haven't really, I haven't really gotten them recorded yet. So that's the next step for sure. It's going to be that's exciting. And yeah. I, I love how once a week you've been trying to do like song of the week on your Instagram. I think that's the cutest thing ever. Like we yeah. just lost my mind. Like, yeah. Yes, so yes. this year it was kind of like my New Year's resolution because I, I knew that like sometimes I can go for weeks or months and I don't write any songs. And I'm like, why am I not writing? Like I get kind of like stuck, like writer's <laughs> block. Um, and so I was like, okay, this year, my new year's resolution, I need to write something new every single week. And it doesn't have to be a full song, but just even if it's only, you know, 30 seconds or a minute, but yeah, I've been taking suggestions from people and trying to write a new song every Monday. Um, and so that's been really fun. It's been a really fun challenge. Yeah. Yeah. 
Let's wow, go. what's your favorite one so far that you've done? And I love your honesty when you're just like, hey, so guess who's been failing my child? I'm just like, yes, I'm not alone. I've totally been there. Yeah, absolutely. Because yeah, I can't necessarily do it every single week and life gets busy. And sometimes it's like, okay, the song is not going to happen this week. But you know what? Next week, we'll come back and we'll try again. And um, yeah, like it's nice to have kind of that. I think part of why I wanted to post it online is to like, have some of that accountability because then I have people who are like watching and I'm like oh I feel like I need to do it for the people who like will I tune in like, oh, be like come on Irene <laughs> yeah exactly so it's good I'm it's hard to pick a favorite because I think I have like actually I do like I wrote a little one the other about two weeks ago and I was just sitting on my porch and it was basically just a song of like all the things that I was thankful for that day, like the sun and the birds and the trees and like being able to sit outside on my porch and enjoy the warm weather. And so I think, um, I really like that one because I, I try to like put a lot of gratitude into my life. I think that's a really good habit to get into, just like being grateful for things. So yeah, I really like that. You're sending forth. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I love it. And do you think any of these short little songs you made, you're going to turn into longer songs because you've loved them so much? Or what do you think? Yeah, I definitely think that um, some of them that I've written, I want to expand on. Um, I think because I have, like, I write most of my songs on my phone in my little notes app, and I have so many <laughs> unfinished ones. And it's helpful to, like, if I get stuck, I'm like, oh, I haven't really... Like, I don't, I don't really have any new ideas to go back to all the unfinished ones and see if I can make them longer or add a chorus or something. So I definitely think that there are some that I want to expand on. Um, I mean, even there was one song I wrote um, uh, about two months ago and I, uh, I, it was only going to be like a verse and a chorus. It was going to be short, but then as I was writing it, I started coming up with more ideas. And so that one actually is a full song now, but I have, I still don't have a for it. Because um, I find I don't always name my songs until like I play them for like an actual audience. And because all the live music has been shut down this year um, because of COVID, like I haven't really had the chance to play for people in a while. So I haven't really had to name my songs. <laughs> um, you can go online at a point or? <laughs> Yeah, I think as the summer goes on, it would be really nice to do uh, another live stream or two because that's a fun way of, you know, just connecting with people. Uh, so, yeah, I might do either an Instagram or a Facebook Live at some point this summer and play some of my songs. And, yeah. I that love really it. Great. I'm in. And yeah, the band actually asked me to ask you if you want to perform there on their little stage. Oh, yeah, that would be, yeah. that would be fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Surprise on the spot. Hey. Yeah, I would love to. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah. Let me know. <laughs> yeah, we'll drop you in easy. Absolutely. I love it. So we'll have fun. The best time is in the sunshine, looking at the mountains, and it's so gorgeous. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. It's a pretty beautiful place to be. <laughs> oh, it's so true. Are you planning to, like, come back to Banff? Or, like, are you planning to, like, travel? Now yeah, you I'm planning on coming back to Banff because I'm currently still in the U.S. where I was at school. Um, but I'm uh, I have to drive across the country because <laughs> I have my car with me. So um, you got this. <laughs> yeah, once June comes around, I'm gonna I'm gonna be back in June, and then um, I'll be around for the summer. I'm actually doing I'm doing the Canmore Summer Theater Festival this summer. Um, so that I've done the past two summers, and I'm doing it again this year. And quite sure yet if we're going to um we're, we're fingers crossed if all goes well with health and safety guidelines we'll be doing live shows outside um in Canmore so uh we're doing uh 12th night a Shakespeare play and then we're also doing um Minotaur which is our like family friendly show and so uh that'll be in August so I'm really excited to like be back home and start working on that project as well that is so so exciting and I love it I have a feeling it's going to end up running because we just got news here that the farmer market's running and they're allowed 100 people in there. Oh, and on top great. of that, 
um all the kids camps are running so that like i have a feeling it's gonna be a go like things are yeah starting yeah to things are starting to get better which is which is super great yeah the farmer's market is always such a fun place i i'm glad it's running this year <laughs> i am so thrilled i saw pictures of you playing on the stage and just like yes go irene go yeah yeah it was really fun that was i think two summers ago and yeah yeah probably because last summer there was no music um but yeah it was it was so fun to play at the farmer's market it's always you know it's just so nice to be able to be outside and like you know you're standing in the sun and playing music and then you get to hear everyone else's music and it's really it's a really great thing yeah that's the best and I just love the atmosphere too like what's your favorite concert that you've performed so far like where was it Ooh, that's a really good question. Um, I think, um, well, I've loved, I, I used to play at um, the bar at Melissa's uh, when they were still in their old location. And that was always a super fun place to be just because they were always so friendly there. And, you know, everyone's like having a good time. And so it was always really fun to play there. Um, Farmer's Market, absolutely, really just a great environment. Um, and then I've, I've played at um, the Canada Day markets as well. And that's always fun because then like I try and I'm like, okay, let me think how many songs I can sing that are like by Canadian musicians and kind of put in some of the like patriotic kind of kind of things there um to and even in school they're just like Irene you're singing Canada Day every time because you have such an amazing voice like yeah yeah, yeah. Watching that right there yeah, <laughs> yeah. easily yeah and we're kind of, uh, running short on time here is there anything you want to say to the viewers definitely vote um, yeah I would say that yeah, go on the CBC Searchlight website, um, and if you look up Irene Pool, you can vote um, until tomorrow, and you can vote on your phone and your computer, and you know, get your friends and family to vote for me. And I love her; she's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. And then you know, later in the summer, definitely check out the Canmore Summer Theater Festival and uh, see what the news is on that. Yes. So everyone, you've heard that. Uh, that's the way I'm sending you. This video is probably going to be posted today. Normally I wait a couple days, but this one is urgent. Tomorrow's the last day. So go, go, go. Thank you. Bye, Bye everyone. Thanks so much.